to include the Quran as well. No, but if you're going to believe from the Quran, then you should also reject. I don't believe from the Quran. Exactly. So don't bring it in. Then. No, but you're a Muslim, so I want yeah, I know. you to know. But when, that it's not when, only in as the Muslims, we do not celebrate even the birth of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam as the way that Christians do for the birth of Jesus Christ. Nobody okay? celebrates a birth the way Christians do on the birth of Jesus Christ. Everyone would know about. But today, Christmas is not the birth of Christ. You know that. Obviously. <laughs> exactly. So I agree with you. No one celebrates it like that. Yes. Now the birth of Christ today, the 25th of December, has become a commercialized. Yes. It what do you say? It's, it's become commercialized in the sense that today, all these large corporations they make mega bucks from yes. this so-called celeb uh, celebrating the birth of Jesus, but not really celebrating the birth of Jesus. Yeah. It has just become a date on a calendar yes, when people are looking vacation. forward to a holiday and a lot of sales maybe. And this commercial, uh, what do you say, this uh, big large corporation, they love this date, not because yes, of Jesus' birth. Yes. So Christmas, the spirit of Christmas, is, 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 is probably gone a long time ago. Today, Santa Claus has now become more, what do you say, prominent than Jesus Christ. If you ask me, True, the amount of times that Santa Claus has been in, in on that's our screens, Coke, that's the in, of Coca -Cola, in <laughs> not the influence of Coca-Cola, not just Coca-Cola. It's all it's all these corporations. Santa. Exactly, that's yeah. what I meant. So all these corporations, they basically want to portray Santa Claus everywhere because they believe that he brings presents. And guess where the they parents get the presents from? From the large corporations. So obviously. They will so promote him we, we rather than Jesus. That we have a younger, um, like, so if there may well be a vote, I don't, I can't shatter dreams like that. I just don't. You know actually believe in no, Santa Claus? No, when there are children around, I would have fight. Okay, these are Muslim children. I'm I, sure I they don't, don't believe in this. I don't Sorry? I don't believe in Santa. Okay. You heard that? I did hear that. So now. that little girl is saying she doesn't believe in Santa. Well, Look, there are many little girls who are not Muslims who don't believe in Santa or the tooth fairy but either. There are many that do. But there are many who do. But that's a lie that the parents are spreading. Do you think they should what, the stop? The tooth fairy. And the Santa Claus. Do you think the parents should stop you, spreading this lies? All right, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a, a genuine answer. Go on. I believe You're a parent, right? Uh, yes, That's I why am, it's yes. fair to ask you. I believe that for children to grow up into adults who can believe in concepts like love and mercy and justice and faith, all things we cannot see, I believe that those small falsehoods like encourage an imagination and, and grasping the unseen nature of the world. Because if we were purely materialist and only believed the evidence of our own eyes, we would all be in trouble so i think that justice and mercy and faith and love are unseen attributes of a loving god and therefore and where does santa fit in there it's a story for children in order for them to believe in in supernatural things. Let, let me ask you something that's my answer okay let me ask you something if i was in your place yeah. And I was actually a Christian. You'd be I would, my rent. You I would, my I would, place. instead of instead of relying on stories of lies like Santa Claus, I would rather You'll give tell the story. Them about Muhammad going up on a donkey to Sa heaven. Look, I did not disturb no, you I'm when you were talking. You. You're doing it again. Oh, yeah. When you talked, yes. I kept quiet. Okay. I expect the same courtesy from you. Okay. So I wouldn't. If I was a parent, I would definitely not use lies or stories which are lies to to basically motivate my children and tell them stories of love, kindness, honesty, about miracles even. I would rather use stories, yes, from the Quran, from the Sunnah, from the stories of the prophets, and there are quite a few. And I, I believe that they're also in the Bible. So I would not use some fat man coming down in the middle of a night, in the, through the chimney, yes, and leaving gifts, when those gifts were actually by the hard-earned money of their parents and not of some mysterious man coming down a chimney. Okay, now wait, wait. I would use these examples from your scripture and I would use it for, sorry, I personally would use it from my scriptures because I would not resort to lies to even motivate my kids. That is not something Islam teaches me. Yes? And that's why I'm saying. The